let's do an update on my project SL600. Um, I picked this thing up for $16,000 at auction. Didn't get a chance to see it. Uh, all said and done, uh, 18 grand is where I'm at on this. 40,000 miles, 1997 SL600 with a panoramic roof. What I'm trying to do is see if I can get this thing fixed up, uh, get it back to where it belongs, and be under 23. I want to put in, I don't want to put in more than five grand into this when I'm all done. Um, so since last time, I've been busy ordering parts, a bunch of things have shown up, and I've gone ahead and done a few things. So uh, just to keep myself straight, uh, I've created a little spreadsheet to see where we're at. Here is uh, what I've done and where I'm at. So we have a rear seat kit. I'm not going to count this on the cost because no matter what I would have to do, I would have to order this. My wife said I got to do this if I want it. It's a European uh, rear seat uh, for my kids. They're small enough. They sit in the back just fine. It works really well. Um, I've ordered new leather covers for the front seats. So if we hop in here, you can see that driver's seat is trashed. And both of these seats are pretty worn. I guess the passenger isn't too bad. I could probably do some work to make it better, but uh, it's easier just to order the, the seat. Um, so that's going to run me 1200 bucks. I actually do have all the costs here. Uh, next thing is the hydraulics for the top. Um, I hadn't planned on doing this until the winter time, and I wasn't going to bother checking it until then, but uh, I was able to determine we need them. So what happens is I put up this roll bar, and when that happens, when you activate the hydraulics um, on any of these systems, then... Um, it pressurizes the whole system. So when I deployed that roll bar, manually pulled it up, and I'm sorry, activated it up, um, I ended up getting a leak from the right, uh, the passenger side uh, ram. I can't remember which one. I think it's the main lift ram for the soft top. Um, but I think that's that one or the, the bow uh, hydraulic. One of the two on the passenger side started leaking, and when those leak, they leak out right in front of the, the rear tire. So I had a little puddle of hydraulic fluid. I know my hydraulics are gone, which means I've got to replace them. I haven't ordered them yet. Um, I'll save that as a winter project uh, when I park it and take off the top and whatever. We'll get that taken care of. But that is being done. Uh, next one I've got is the hood pad. So this came in and I've actually completed it. You can see this looks fantastic. So uh, the hood pad is all done. Uh, it takes about 20 minutes, 30 minutes to do. Uh, you just gotta cover up the engine bay, put the hood in the uh, service position, tear off the old stuff, kind of scrape it away and then use some uh, 3M adhesive. Uh, back to here, we've got our spark plugs. I finished those. Uh, that's a fairly quick project. I've ordered uh, and received fuel and air filters. I haven't put those on yet, but they are there. Um, I do need to do transmission fluid. Uh, a brake flush, I've actually ordered. Well, I have the fluid, so I don't need to order anything. Um, I've got diff fluid I'll take care of. The suspension spheres, these are those nitrogen spheres. I've ordered them, just waiting on them. An oil pressure sensor. Uh, like I said, when I turn on the engine, it uh, pegs out it at three bar. So I'm just going to replace that sender. Uh, the overhead console I've received. So that's this piece right here. So this has a crack in it right there, and I've gotten a replacement. It's actually here. I just need to do it, and I'll take care of that when I do the uh, 
the top hydraulics. The other piece that I've done is these sun visor trim pieces. So on both sides, those were cracked. Those came in and have been replaced. They match fairly well. You can see the factory parts aren't a perfect color match. But these look much better and they work pretty well. So that's that item right there, sun visor trim, that's done. Uh, the vanity mirrors, so I'm going to get those replaced. Uh, the exterior mirror glass, so on both of these, I don't know how well a mirror is going to show up here, but I have a crack, you can barely see it, in the passenger side, and then the driver's side just doesn't look good. So I've got those on order, but the driver's mirror is not available, i got to go find a replacement. The parking brake release handle. Okay. So that's this piece right here. There should be a black plastic handle. And they uh, they break from time to time. So that's on order. Um, it'll be a quick one to take care of. Toolkit was missing, so I've got a replacement. It's already here. Um, floor mats, I just put those in, so they're not a perfect match. I may go try to find something else, or maybe I will do a black mat. I don't know. Right now, they're better than the crap that was in there, but we'll see what I end up doing with them. Um, temperature sensor, I have. I just need to replace it. The windshield wiper was done. Oil and filter change. Uh, that's super easy on this car to do. Uh, it takes, I want to say it was 11 quarts of oil, Mobile One. And then uh, while you're under there, just inspect some other stuff. So it looks like I'll also add some bushings for the uh, suspension bushings to take care of. Brake rotors, brake pads, uh, those just came in. Um, so I'll take care of those. Uh, well, I ordered some brake lines as well. So when the brake lines show up, then I'll take care of the brakes altogether and do the fluid flush. Um, O2 sensor. So I've been driving this around a little bit, I want to say about 40 miles in the past couple of days, just to make sure things are running and working well. Um, I do get a check engine light and, you know, the first day after I got it, I reset it to see if it cleared. It came back. Obviously, I read the code. And I'm getting a fuel trim uh, warning uh, on the uh, cylinder one side, so the passenger side, the right bank. And when I go through and I test the O2 sensors, the passenger side O2 sensor uh, test values seem to be way out of whack. They don't match the bank two, the driver's side, and they're out of range. So to me, that tells me I have a bad O2 sensor. I've ordered them. We'll replace them both. I mean, this thing's it's a 25-year-old car. Replacing O2 sensors isn't a big deal. It's $100 for two sensors. So we'll replace those, and hopefully that takes care of the check engine light. Uh, it'll take care of, because I've actually noticed this thing is running a bit rich, and so that actually makes quite a bit of sense. So, let's see what happens there and go go from there. Uh, next up, if we pop back over here, I've got the hardtop stand that's on order. A passenger seatbelt latch. So I do have this, and I don't know if this is going to show up or not, but... Uh, here's the passenger seatbelt latch. And it's kind of cracked a little bit, split on that shell. So I just went ahead and ordered a replacement. Um, when I get the seat leather, I'll have everything there. I'll just go ahead and replace that latch. There's no point in trying to fix that stuff, at least in my mind. Um, other than that, I've got the uh, windshield washer reservoir. So I have the uh, windshield fluid light. Thought that that was uh, just low fluid, ends up, I actually have a crack in the reservoir somewhere, so I'll take care of that. 
And the only other problem on this car, not necessarily this one specific, but these in general, is the transmission connector. There is an electronic connector on the passenger side of the transmission. These things tend to leak and the transmission fluid migrates up the wire harness. If it does that, it will eventually get into one of the ECUs. I believe it's the transmission ECU. It would make sense to be so, but anyway, one of the ECUs or computers, sorry. Um, and you can begin to ruin that. So I'm just gonna replace that preemptively. I went down there. I couldn't tell if it had been replaced or not, but either way, I'm gonna go ahead and change it out. It's a $15 part, simple peace of mind. So that's our update. Other than that, I uh, just got a few little trim pieces to take care of, and this car's looking pretty good. Um, I did say I was going to order a new stereo, so I've found the Continental stereo, actually, which will be an orange display and match pretty well. So I popped that out to make sure the wiring harness is all intact. Um, it is, so... That new stereo should be here, and then it should be plug and play. So that'll be good. Um, other than that, I'm going to go ahead and spend some time conditioning the leather and washing it. Um, I won't waste my time on the seats, but I'll take care of all these door cards, the dash, um, all of that. See how this project goes. Take care.